we translate and uh, just uh, mention us. Welcome to the three the C Camp 2015. I'm sure it's important to look at the date of the camp. Many people imagine that this is not my f the first talk about Windows problems, and in fact, that is something that happened to us for quite a while, but now it's escalated significantly. Um, situation escalation happened that I even put up a nice image in the site. Is it really that nowadays with Windows 8 and before, always from the side of Microsoft there was a certain uh, take back uh, option that they do not, uh, that they t t accept that people are running Linux on it. And it's more and more getting lost. Microsoft changes its complete operational model and with Windows 10 the users will get the so removed of the control of its own hard and software so it's not really surprised that FIFA is surprised that it um, Microsoft even updates the recovery key to the data so everybody who listens to it all the data can be uh, unencrypted so Microsoft really has to be uh, ask itself is it really good to update customers' data massively in its own cloud? Okay, let's look at the row, uh, the points. So, what's the idea? The idea is trusted computing, and that was or existed already at the end of the last millennium. And a lot of crypt cryptographical scientists looked at it. And at 2003, I had this page. A uh, person from RSA who he developed RSA and he developed a hash function and a cryptograph who knows has a deep um, influence on the encryption of the internet and he pretty simply said in principle you put parts of your computers and rent it out to people who do not, you can't trust. So if in future, if you buy a computer, there is a key in it that protects our computer from the others, but also from ourselves. So we were warning a couple of years ago that it may have legal problems about, um, and Hackers had the tendency of talking about it, but uh, profs are just um, wise guys. And the warning that they could be blocked was communicated from the beginning. So here I have a high as a security newsletter, and I'm also used that. Is that really Microsoft deactivated systems? They don't have the option the possibility, but they actually used that. One of those things was in December 2013 that boot system of other uh, producers were deactivated and sometimes there were just no reasons or the more you asked, the more worried you became. So, let's take back a step. People have the right uh, to choose and secure Windows world. In theory, they do have that, but because there is a lot of... Uh, Windows is the only big um, distributor, it's question. If you think about, hey, do they, they, they say, hey, we take care of everything, but the question is, do they do it properly? Also, in the uh, past, all the ideas are 10 years old, the, the encryption standards, and that leads to a significant amount of problems. I am just lit, put up here, there are errors in standard documentation, there are unsecure parameters that were bad uh, at the start of this millennium, but they're still there. RSA with an unsecure la key length, and there were cryptographical errors. There are security problems through the integration. All the time people say, hey, that's trusted computing, that's a new tool of security, so we can make it more secure than integrated systems, but and that was diluted. So we have the situation that at the moment there are up-to-date <laughs> systems where they're really 
deeply integrated solutions where also the security chip is just part of the system. And if we put security chips in there because there's a hardware boundary, in most cases, it's not a good idea to give up the hardware boundary. So if we hacker with these highly integrated devices, we will have a lot of fun with that, so more towards the end of the talk. And maybe we are just too crazy or too worried and we think t too much about uh, corner cases. And I will show in one or two cases that the securitization is even worse. You don't need hacker skills to uh, reduce <coughs> the security significantly. One of the standard errors the normal errors, if there are standards where you say it should, or you write it may, should, and may is something like it would be good to do that, but we don't have to. And usually suggestions are a good thing, but always think about if you're a developer and you go to the bo your boss and say, hey, I want to mail the new chip and I wanted to build it more secure, then and that's always something about the capitalists, and it's their job. It's the job of the people to ask, hey, how much is that? And the cheaper solution is always to use old cryptography, so you don't have to redevelop it. And if we live in a current world where the people who have a decision about the finance have a more important word than the people who do security, you will see what gets out of it. And in the end, I don't have to don't be it t t too much security. I can always say if I look at the signature laws is only possible for short term middle term security if you look at the um advance and nobody says that with 2500 um uh, bits it's just not secure over the long term. And my favorite story is the continued use of a broken hash function, SHA-1. And, and here's the point where I said... It's really too stupid for me. I, uh, I googled for... Uh, um, yeah, I googled for that and, uh, you know, there was... Uh, uh, an article in Datenschleuder 2005, and it wasn't even my work. Work, and I wrote. I looked there back then. It wasn't even my work. I wrote uh, that it's basically broken since f for 10 years, and I just uh, you know wrote it up. So we're 10 years later now, and it's not uh, even discussed anymore. Um, there's a, uh, was a uh, the competition for SHA-3. Uh, there were advisories not to use it anymore, um, and uh, it's still. I had the possibility to work with the standardization uh, within the German uh, norm norming process, and the German norming process was uh, cr criticized these security problems uh, uh, with the security of SHA-1, uh, but the international norms didn't uh, take this into account. Um, there's a pretty unspectacular leak. It was a really unspectacular leak uh, in compared to others, but um, you know, um, it was um, in the end uh, there were counter uh, uh, votes against that, uh, and it's notable that they are uh, from Germ Germany and the People's Republic of China. So uh, this, well, a couple of weeks months ago, I said that the discussion uh, whether to use. Uh, 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 the, the the discussion about Windows 8 and the security issues are dealt with uh, in a different manner in Ch China. Windows 8 is forbidden in China, and uh, German is uh, Germany. It's allowed, and uh, I'm pretty sure that a similar fatwa is spoken out against Windows 10. Um, the cryptographical pro problems are highly relevant, and uh, the identical. Uh, integrity check is uh, attackable, the certificate security is attackable, and there was an attack on one C6C Congress uh, where Dutch uh, um, researchers with Jacob Applebaum together showed that the cryptographic uh, weaknesses uh, can be used directly in order to uh, 
uh, fake certificates, and that's uh, an absolute catastrophe <coughs> in this case. And on, in the field of security, another footnote uh, I found, I mentioned in the crypto talk this morning, SHA-1 uh, comes uh, from the NSA that stands in the, in the, um, in the um, proposals, you know, it's nothing that's top, top, top secret or conspiracy. One thing I learned from Snowden documents that in the area of, of hash document functions, the NSA has a couple of cryptographic tricks in their sleeve that we still have to research. But we have the situation that the best organization uh, uh, in terms of hash functions, uh, then the uh, break in the hash functions, uh, namely the NSA, is designing the hash functions themselves. That's not a conspiracy theory. The SNS has uh, done a new competition for a shard three, where the openness is pretty uh, um, central. The shard three is the uh, has gone through these official processes in the last couple of days. I've been asked to. Uh, from people to uh, to uh, you know say something more uh, specific about the specific update uh, about this uh, the security problems. Um, I say I already uh, predicted them at the Congress, uh, and we'll get a couple of funny security updates. I'll do this in the next couple of minutes, and in terms of tradition, I will then. Um, I will only quote the serious uh, colleagues from Heiser Security who are to be taken serious. Yeah. Um, why didn't why did I decide to use the crypto zombie the term crypto zombie while they're still running around and uh, still uh, being dangerous? This freak attack um, was the first, um, but there's a complete counter computer security catastrophe that because the um, Americans uh, uh, decided in the 90s that they didn't want to export uh, cryptograph cryptography. So um, the only, uh, only people who got uh, cryptography out of the US were weapon smugglers. I didn't do that, of course, I didn't. But I was, uh, it was in a more relaxed situation, uh, less relaxed situation like the terror, terror hysteria today, it's, it would have been even worse. And the, on the first, one of the first camps, I think HIP, uh, 1997, I, Americans took the source code of PGP, uh, printed it out in books. And because books were allowed to be exported, freedom of speech, and they, took it to the uh, field in the close to Amsterdam and they, there they scanned it, uh, the first version of PGP in and um, uh, implemented it there. So we, we made it part of the history on our camps, but uh, these uh, problems are, um, I'd like to state that again, thanks to G Werner Koch. G Werner Koch wrote GPG and the day after GPG was, uh, um, it was published, the, the Americans uh, loosened their crypto export restrictions. Um, um, so uh, what you, whatever you do, you might be able, uh, even able to uh, get a uh, uh, world superpower to change their policy. And thank you very much, Werner Koch, for that. And uh, so that's the thing I'll tell my students who thinks that uh, the, you can't change the world. You should see the, that we have um, this the potential with the internet and cryptography and uh, mathematics. So whoever has the chutzpah to uh, actually implement this, uh, you can actually change something. So um, Friedrich Attack was uh, announced by or uh, noticed by Microsoft on the 6th of March. Then there was a workaround that should be um, make it more safe. But um, the next day, the Windows update didn't allow download didn't work anymore. Um, Microsoft killed their own update save system. They find everybody who uh, makes the joke. I made, I made all the jokes about these Windows update system. I wanted to continue with this uh, with the most, uh, and the next thing from Heiser Security, um, the Windows users are already um, used to it. I really grinned a little about that, and then um, I said, well, there's a zombie in the, in the house, and there's the export restriction. They uh, 
Cameron in England wants to warm them up again. Terrible. It's pretty easy when uh, uh, then I can recycle my old uh, my old slides. So I'm pretty chilled out about it. It was back then. It was a dumb idea. Now it's a dumb idea. So it still stays that way. And the um, the the surveillance. You know, as we know about the surveillance now, it's uh, you know the good thing. Uh, these. The, the the idiots who talked about Echelon uh, in 1999 on the camp, well, they they weren't that kind of idiots anymore. And these uh, this not only this Snowden document showed that these uh, uh, people didn't they said the truth. And we I want to say thank you to them because it was uh, in a mood where uh, you claimed to uh, knew know that these kind of things that the America our American friends are surveilling us and. Um, uh, a representative of the SPD uh, in Bavaria, Mr. Schmidt. Uh, I want to thank him uh, because he uh, talked about this in the European Parliament and then we are at the point to say thank you to uh, mention them uh, here especially and uh, honor them. Um, uh, dirty grin again about win Windows is one thing, but uh, bad uh, surprises are uh, even worse for people who have a Linux on the system. And uh, Windows update on March the 13th, um, my Microsoft killed dual boot systems with Windows and uh, killed all the boot things, but uh, the settings, but um, there's also embedded systems where uh, they call up Windows, or there's an old Windows that uh, updates itself, and then this embedded system doesn't boot anymore. And that, uh, yeah, yes, again, the, thanks to Microsoft, they s kill SHA-1 and integrate SHA-2 in 2015. We only have, uh, we only asked for that in the middle of the 90s. So after 90 years, Microsoft uh, listened to some of the critiques. It would have been nice if they hadn't killed all the things then. Um, worse enough, the, what that I have to update my uh, slides, but uh, after a couple of days, a couple of days before we left into the camp, there was a, a black hat session by Stone and Chapman that you can show that you can uh, compromise Windows systems uh, via Windows updates, and uh, it says you have one malicious uh, update ready to install. Let's to conclude that people want to manage our security completely, who aren't even able to. To update safely and uh, uh, were laughed about at two CCC events by building old crypto and are in the situation that um, yeah, are angry that well, people are angry that they have to uh, update this. They, they, well, they, they care about it, but I say you can't do it. And if you can't do this, then please leave our systems alone and, and uh, allow us to install whatever we want. And that is the problem, and that's getting diff more difficult and difficult. Windows 10 has now, uh, it's important that you mean that, you know, you, uh, um, you have to uh, import, you include a tra trusted platform module in your computer uh, um, a switch to you know uh, to so turn it off. It's only optional, but it's uh, mandatory to in in include it. And uh, all the dirty tricks um, we use to uh, kill Windows uh, to, to install alternative system will get large problems. Um, and there will be systems where you can't turn off secure boot at all. And uh, one of the few points I want to name, uh, I want to criticize high security with, in this quote, it means that uh, there's uh, problems with exotic software. People, it's, it's, there's problems with all software, with, uh, with any software that is free software. We need, um, uh, well, if you have, if you want to uh, install an open source system, then you need a signature by Microsoft. And Microsoft signs a bootloader, and that loads, the, the, the you know another bootloader, and then the things continue. And uh, Microsoft can at some point revoke the uh, signature, and then we remind about uh, remind us about uh, a couple of slides before, and it, this already happened. I have to say again that it is uh, that my friends and I we uh, start buying old hardware because we don't know. Um, uh, 
um, without uh, huge pains. We, we, we know we'll do it somehow, but we we don't want to uh, use our own hardware to uh, you know to get into a hard a strong hacking fight um, and uh, I want to say friends of high the secure non exotic software is uh, if you uh, if you define Debian or Linux uh, as uh, SUSE has a signature on Ubuntu and stuff, but Red Hat, um, but uh, no, normal free uh, development will uh, get more or less impossible, uh, and uh, so, quote unquote secure systems. And um, there's Microsoft doesn't see that there's a possibility to to. In, Introduce alternative software. To some, to say something nice, that uh, uh, if we have these chips, there's only a. If the if we can use the security chips and. Uh, uh, yeah. And it's quite surprising. Should there be new security issues? And I'm um, looking at um, new talents of hardware security over the recent days and. It, there will be physical attack possible, and if even if it's a system on a chip, there will be time slice attacks and timing attacks, and there are especially interesting attacks if you can do it over the network. As I said, network chips are even more funny. Random number generators can also be played with, and if you have a system that works by being uh, certified chips and the chips get more secure and we remove the hardware security and we have to ask why is, do we do that? So we don't have to do a hardware world so if we can still do it in software. So that's what I think is about the future. It's not only security problems but also significant problems for the way we use our computers, and if just uh, one person doesn't help and use another Turing um, winner and call Turing Hellman, and Turing Hellman said the start of Microsoft will work only when they block out. There are other systems, but Microsoft wants to build a massive locked system and that means that in the end we will not be able to own our own systems. We can't request these things with our own computers anymore and that is a problem with our hacker community and the problem is that this hacker community developed the software that runs the internet that developed Linux and has a significant, Linux have a significant commercial uh, impact and this open source community will be harmed significantly and part of that are also cryptographical answers without having risking to create a new slogan Diffie Hellman said he sees the requirement that the users of their own devices have to use their own key, have to own their keys and it was true in 2013 and it's still true. I'm a bit cynical about trusted um, computing chips and this trusted pro uh, platform chip and I take it back in here and the only thing I said if the devices are produced in China we will have to assume uh, there are backdoors and there were no real um, uh, proofs about that, but just recently there was a, a, a response. Uh, um, it was published that there was a U uh, BIOS or UFI tools. There was a Lenovo backdoor. It was also the second time Lenovo is a small company in China, where also this completely independent university is also part of there. And without being polemic, Lenovo has some problems. So you can so look at that. Companies close to the state. So yeah, there's another backdoor. So the <laughs> slide that was ridiculous a couple of months ago, and no, we know that it is true nowadays or yesterday. 
Another thing I want to point out is that even if a couple of years ago that we say the UFI, that it's not BIOS anymore. We have a huge software there and we always said that's a monster and it's badly secured and we will have problems there. And by now, nice young people looked at hacking team and uh, published 400 gigabytes and you are very welcome to look at an area where there's UF, UF, UFI backdoors and I'm quite annoyed because exactly the area where we talked about a lot over the recent years and they were just ignored and at the moment it's just not a good idea we have a Chinese organization that is close to the government and they talked at the good time to the government and they said hey we had a problem but it's known that there is backdoor in a lot of hardware in China and uh, for example with the Nova laptops but there are also UFI vectors that are available in the wild that were used by hacking team and if they are published it's out there <laughs> also again what the crazy people used to say that's nowadays well known in the recent days another hint if you create a TPM externally especially if you don't use it as a hardware tool it's only software so the keys are generated externally and loaded into the system so I only have to create a copy of a key at one place another crazy idea but I know that the Americans had a chip manufacturer in a bad state like the Netherlands they did exactly that they t stole the central key that's trusted hardware if we say we don't need additional security we have a trusted platform, and if an attacker owns every key, he can open everything. What can happen there? So I want to end with some uh, demands, uh, or with a uh, repetition of my demands uh, that are already there. It is not illegitimate that Microsoft wants to uh, make a clause uh, system possible that Apple already did for you, and it's Ill but it's Ill illegitimate that you take away the possibilities away from the people. Um, and uh, we're talking about uh, the cartel uh, uh, antitrust uh, people there, and there's uh, yeah, even the German government uh, demands that it's uh, opt-in is and. Uh, 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 to, to enter this Microsoft secured world. It has to be opt out. You have to get out alive. And that's, uh, it has to be implemented in the hardware. We have 2015. We have to introduce a new system. Is it to ask too much to want cryptography that is up to date? Uh, Microsoft has added a little, uh, update, like entered into SHA 2. And, uh, so if, if they, Kill you know other systems with that. I'm happy. We have that data friendly cryptography, DFF, PF, the PF is a forward secrecy. They should be implemented uh, mandatorily. We need an international control and certification process of the CTM, TPM production process. We need to open and certify the charting computing relevant Windows 8 and Windows 10 source code. And on the lower level, lowest level, we need an absolute security there. And um, if we uh, have more broken UEFI uh, things, then people, uh, you know, will uh, enter that and uh, use uh, use that against us, and that's uh, where we hackers are losing. So at the moment we are laughing about it, but there's ha hackers uh, um, uh, in the world that uh, they they don't live the excellent uh, be excellent to each other codex of the CCC, but uh, there are people who are using their ha selling their hacking skills for money and there's uh, there's uh, whole military departments in China that hack all day so we we are uh, in an important game uh, in the right game but um, um, 
we want to free the systems with whatever system, uh, technology we can use, and we want to use that. Uh, uh, one allows me uh, that the Hakim team are in uh, Italy or Foxconn are not uh, uh, doesn't act uh, act in an uh, ethically acceptable capacity, and we can discuss that in the hacker scene. Uh, but we need uh, independently from that a secure basic system and uh, boot system and uh, uh, yeah so that we can use hardware in its manner and then yeah we have to um, to uh, use antitrust measures or at least uh, uh, audit them for um, Microsoft uh, you know if Microsoft has to, Microsoft has to be entangled in a uh, antitrust manner. If mm, Microsoft is so deep in all the systems that uh, there's a question that if uh, European institutions should uh, actually accept that, um, I'm. I fear that in the next two camps we've also got, also got to talk about that. But we shouldn't stop this and uh, continue with uh, working with this. But after the Snowden revelations, it's pretty clear that the warning is that we are say we're giving out that the you know the they are uh, caught up by reality. So thanks for listening. That was. A